Yeah, right now I am at Flamingo in Maryland. There were several parents here. This is about as close as you can get to the campus if you're just driving by, although traffic is a nightmare in this area just to get to this point will take a long time. I just spoke with one parent who has a child in an elementary school on the UNLV campus, an eight-year-old daughter. Uh, everybody that was here, there was a large group, was just told to go to the convention center. They were told that that will be the new reunification point. Of course, those parents uh, are desperate to find out the status of their children at this point, trying to figure out what happened. He said he had a friend there who was outside the school, could not get in right before the shooting. So at this point, uh, we are at Maryland and Flamingo. This is as close as we can get to the campus. People coming up, trying to figure out the status of their loved ones at this point. We were told that that reunification center just moved. First, they were saying Thomas and Mac. Now they are saying the Las Vegas Convention Center. So this is something that we're going to continue to follow, and we will bring you updates as we do get them here on the scene. Reporting live Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Kim, thank you. And there is a hotline set up for those impacted by this active shooter situation that unfolded this afternoon at UNLV. The number is 702-455-AID. So that's 702-455-2433. And that's for reunification and victim services.